What's up, Prize Fight fans? I'm Brian Tong, and this is an MP3 punch out between the top two clip on MP3 players. It's a takedown shakedown between the sixth generation iPod Nano and the Sansa Clip Plus. Our judges for this fight are senior editor Donald Saved by the Bell, senior associate editor Jasmine Knock him in the Pants France, and you know who, Ring a Ling a Ding Kong. Now we'll take all three judges blind scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. We all know looks matter. Round one is designed. The redesigned Nano looks sleek and its screen pops, but being pretty is only part of it. The small touchscreen makes it a pain to navigate, its clip is awkward to use, and when one of the judges gives it a one, you know it has issues. It's pretty much like a shuffle with the screen, and that's not a good thing. The Clip Plus is no sexy beast, but its tactile controls for a clip-on player make it more functional than the Nano. Its clip is easier to use, but the monochrome screen needs an upgrade. The bottom line, Sansa knows what an MP3 player this size needs, and it's buttons. The Clip Plus gets a 3.3, and the Nano gets a 2.7, round two is features. The new Nano has lost features like video playback and audio recording, but still brings an FM tuner that pauses live radio, a fitness pedometer, Nike Plus compatibility, and Genius mixes that I actually use. You can view pictures and album art, but having multi-touch to rotate the screen isn't really all that special. The Sansa Clip brings an FM tuner with presets for gym TVs, a voice recorder, and micro SD card slot for expansion. Donald misses the album art, but these are features that are practical difference makers. Sansa takes this round with a 4.3, and the Nano gets a 3.7, so after averaging two rounds, the Clip Plus leads by six tenths of a point. Next round is compatibility. Not all of us are fans of being locked into iTunes to use the Nano. The dock connector allows the Nano to be compatible with the entire iPod accessory ecosystem. It supports most common audio files, but it doesn't support higher end formats. The Clip Plus supports almost every file type, including FLAC and AUG, but there's no AAC compatibility for iTunes. It also syncs with Rhapsody's music subscription service, and if you don't want to use any software tool, just drag and drop your tracks onto the device on a Windows and Mac. Sansa takes the third round in a row with the 3.7, and the iPod Nano gets a 3. Next round is sound and science. Apple's iPod Nano is a solid sounding player and has improved from the past, but it's limited to the standard iPod EQ settings. The difference in this round is the Clip Plus that has a fuller and richer sound compared to the Nano, and you can even hear it with players this small. It also includes a 5-band custom EQ if you like to dabble with that. Sansa takes round 4 with 3.7, and the Nano gets a 3.3, so after averaging 4 rounds, the Clip Plus still holds the lead by 6 tenths of a point. The final round that decides it all is value. The Nano starts at 149 for 8 gigs, and if you really value it for its size, then that's pretty much what you're paying for. The Clip Plus starts at $49 retail for the 4 gig model and $69 for the 8 gig model, and it's by far the best value in portable audio when you stack up its features. Can you guys guess who takes round 5? It's Sansa with a perfect 5, and the Nano gets a 2.3. So let's average out all 5 rounds, and this was a clean sweep by Sansa with no surprises. The Clip Plus takes this battle 4 to 3 and is your prize fight winner. None of us expected it to be a landslide victory for Sansa, but it looks like Apple really needs to go back to the drawing board and figure out the identity of its clip on Nano. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight.